Hey guys, it's Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. I'm back with another exciting uh, uh, tip for you. What we have here is a gentleman who has asked me to help him with his worksheet. Essentially, he has two columns. He has a date and a name field. And he says for some reason, sometimes they've been swapped, and what he needs is a macro that will will swap them. So he would want this to be in column D and the date to be in column C and for a few other instances for some reason that happens to him. He just wants to be able to create a macro to fix it. So let's get started. First of all think of what you might want to do if it was you. So I'm going to hit Alt F11 and I'll scooch my VBA window back over here. So let's go to our let's see here swap dates so we're gonna create in this project a module and we're going to create a new sub so sub and we'll call this swap dates so that's the name of our macro and here we go we're gonna create a uh, for loop that's gonna go uh, from cell uh, C2 all the way down to whatever the last row is so we need the last row so we're gonna say WS LR. I always do that for the last row these days. That's just a variable name. And we're going to say equals uh, cells rows dot count comma and not column one. We want column three or you could say C. So we want the last row <coughs> in column C dot end using XL up dot row. So that's the row number check out my video on getting the row number and the actual explanation of this and it'll make a lot better sense how how this is getting the last row but essentially that's gonna put the number 18 row 18 into this variable in the instance that that's the last row so now we just want to do a for loop so we want to say for X equals uh, uh, row 2 all the way to 18 so for X equals 2 to 18 and then at the end of our uh, loop we're gonna say next X or next whatever so we have a loop I'm gonna tab in here and so for the very first one we're gonna say if is date so basically is date is an expression that um, allows you to, to determine if this is a date or if it's a non-date which is really handy for what he's wanting to do so if um, let's see cells we're gonna say um, the row is gonna be uh, X in the loop and then the column is gonna be column 3 or again we could put C in quotations so this right here represents the current cell uh, row X or in this case row 2 and then row 3 and then it's you know so row um, we'll say row 2 column 3 that would be 5 16 2016 so that would be a date so I'm gonna close up my parentheses and so if that is a date then uh, keep going skip but otherwise so we, I guess we could say if not is date and then it would actually do whatever we want. This is fine. So if it's a date then just keep going. Otherwise we're going to do the swap. Here's I'll make a little note here. We're going to do the swap. So let's trap these both into a variable really quick. So we're going to say uh, my date equals cells current row 3 and my text equals cells current row column 4 which is D and what we'll do is we'll trap these and then we'll plot uh, we'll switch them so then now that we've got those in memory let's flip-flop them so we're gonna say cells current row 3 is now gonna be equal to whatever we had in the one that was uh, actually a text so my txt and we're going to put in cell current row four, column four, uh, equals my date. And that actually should do it. Now we have to do an end if at the end. If, then, else, end if. And then let's see the four and next. 
and everything's indented properly so it looks really good let's try it out so I'm gonna scoot you over here and let's just hit F8 and go through it a little bit F8 F8 so the last row is 18 for X equals is about to be 2 to 18 so first it starts at 2 so if this is a date let's hover over cells let's see 2 column 3 the that is 516 so that is a date Let's see the next one, 517, 518, 519, 20, 21, 22, 23, I think we're about to, okay. So now when we get to x equals 10, or row 10, we're going to come upon our first one. So, uh, so is date, if I hover over this, in fact, I think if I hover over it, no, it's not going to tell me true or, true or false. So if I hit F8, it's going to go to the else line because that's not a date. So we're gonna put this into this variable and the uh, row or column four into the other variable and then we're gonna flip flop them. So here we go. So this variable is gonna go into that one. So you see it just happened. And then look at this one right here. We're gonna plop the other one into there and we just successfully flip flopped them. So I'm gonna hit um, F, uh, F5 or I'm just gonna click the play button to kind of rush to the end and boom everything's been flip-flopped so that's pretty much how to do it and um, if you have any questions put a comment on there um, don't forget to sign up for the um, ultimate excel programmer course on udemy uh, we have a new revised 2016 pricing which is makes it much, much more affordable for everybody so click on the coupon on the screen and get the absolute best price it's going to be 50 percent off an already amazing price so just for you youtubers thanks for watching guys god bless